Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome to Mermaid Swamp. Um, for whatever reason, this thing has this huge, huge thing stuck to the side of it, so it's running in the corner here. Uh, and then to fill space, I had to put something, so I put a picture of that ugly mermaid from that fake mermaid documentary. Uh, this is Mermaid Swamp. It is a RPG horror game made in RPG Maker, specifically, that my wife recommended on to me uh, years ago. And so I'm finally playing it, and uh, also for her, I'm wearing some makeup. Of course, it's not just for her, but she requested that I do something sexy. Shit, man, I do something sexy every day. All right. Uh, I've never played this before. Voice acting? That's not RPG Maker. You can't do that. That's illegal. I'm gonna do partial. Because doing silly voices is half the fun, especially when something's so scary. Um, hey, uh, trigger warning for everyone involved. This is a horror game with some fucked up shit in it, as I've heard. Uh, I usually do this thing where, like, I jokingly say something, like, haha, what if this was gonna happen? Wouldn't that be fucked up? Anyway, and then I'm right. I'm gonna make a proper guess here. I'm gonna say bog bodies. That's, that's my guess. I've never played this game, and I'm gonna say bog bodies are gonna play into this plot somehow. Bog bodies are some other, other form of waterlogged corpse. Because, come on, you know? That's a slam dunk, man. Um... Bog bodies are specifically, uh, a bog is, I think, an alkaline swamp, whereas a fen is an acidic one. Uh, and, and bogs, um, all the moss and the water and the specific type of stuff in it will preserve bodies. So uh, people have found uh, corpses that have been mummified in bogs, like almost completely naturally. That's what um, the dead marshes in The Lord of the Rings is. Uh, that's why all those bodies look pretty okay, even though they've actually been there for, like, two eras. True fact. They were, uh, I think they were killed in the first war with Sauron. Anyway. Fucking scary-ass game. Be ye warned. What the hell is the sub-key? What the... Am I underwater? What the hell am I doing? I would imagine swimming, right? I would hope that's what you're doing, if you're underwater. He's doing a lean, y'all. That is a leaning man. We've got some coffee and water here as well. Rin. Rin, wake up. Oh yeah. Say Taro Wakasugi. For crying out loud, just get up already. Oh. Ah, shut up. I was just taking a nap. Is that so bad? Says Rin Yamazaki. What hell of a nap? Yuda's been driving all this time and you've been snoozing in the back. Not a hint of lady in this one. Fuck you. Ain't gotta be ladylike for a punk like you. Do they mean to make this character like like there's this thing that anime does all the fucking time. There's this specific region of Japan where everyone has this one accent, and it's called the Kansei region and the Kansei dialect, I believe. And it is, it is such a weird piece of Japanese that I think pe some people treat it like a different language. And every fucking time a character in an anime has the Kansei dialect, they for whatever reason, always dub them as, like, well, howdy! For sure, I'm not much for city living, except for the times when it is just the most obnoxious, obnoxious, like, Brooklyn ever. And, like, is that the case here? I'm curious. <laughs> Sorry, my wife texted me. All right. Rin, rise and shine. Since you started around noon, I'm guessing you slept well? Well, it was a rude awakening with gray hairs here, but sure, I slept well. 
I've swapped accents, sorry. All right. So yeah, this guy actually has gray hair, I guess, huh? Normally in an uh, in a thing like this, people just have anime hair just cuz, but like I guess his hair is gray. Quit your yammering, Yamazaki. By the way, Yuta, where are we? You said something about kicking into high gear, but are we in the mountains or what? <laughs> My bad. I don't know where this is either. Oh, every horror movie starts this way. <laughs> you tell me we're lost? Yep. I don't have the first clue where we are. Oh, she should have the she should have the hick accent. Yep, I don't have the first clue where we are. You're kidding. You said the mountains were a shortcut, so I thought you knew the way. Sorry about that. I mean, I kind of did know at first, but the fog got so thick so sooner or later. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't funny, shrimp face. This is exactly why I didn't want to go on no trip in your old rusty no GPS ass having car. I don't be like that. I said sorry. Well, what do we do now? I don't see any signs around. Huh? Why'd you stop? I don't know. We've stopped moving. Hold on a sec. I'll text the engine. It explodes. Shrapnel pierces her face. <laughs> I'm supposed to be hearing something, aren't I? Ah, oh, crap. That's not good. Sounds like it's totally busted. Are you for real? Oh, you dumbass. Ugh. Wait here. I'll go take a look out of the car. All right, we in there. Okay, good. So I'm having... Okay, I'm going to turn this down just a little. I've started to trust my uh, my uh, audio a little more with my computer. Hey, somebody... Hey, somebody dare? <laughs> His name really should be Creepy Old Man. Quite a surprise. What would you be doing up in those mountains, miss? Whew! Just an old coot. Freak me the hell out. Right, I was on a college trip with my college pals, but our college car went kaput, so we're kinda stuck. It's very unfortunate. Do you have anywhere you could stay? Nope, nothing. Can't get running, I guess we'll be spending the night in the car. That would be terrible. My home is nearby. By all means, stay there. Even in the summer, it's quite cool at night. Whatever, man. For real? Let me talk to my buds. I hope you're all ready for this accent to bleed out of me over the next couple of hours. Ah, leaves crunching. What if they're just chewing the leaves? What a relief. Thank you, old man. That's some southern hospitality. But you're sure now. I don't want to put any pressure on you. No, no. I own the land in these parts, you see. My house's size far outstrips my own needs. I can only hold so many dead toddlers in my basement. Uh, that's right. I should introduce myself. My name is Yukio Suchiada. Suchida. Dyslexia is a bitch. Uh, just an old, lonely old man living on my own. So some young folks would liven up my house. I'm really grateful. We'll just get the car fixed and leave tomorrow. What is it about horror things where like there's just a a, a car shutdown field in a in a in a dome around anything spooky? You know. Like, it's well known that ghosts hate technology, like radios. You know, one of those well-known things that's total bullshit, but... This here is my house. Wow! This place is huge! Okay, so I like that every character has their own voice that they speak with. Every character has a very recognizable, understandable voice. But, like... <laughs> do they mean to read so into the, like... I want to know what this game is translated like in Japanese. Or I guess not translated, what it was written like. Because uh, most of these games are originally Japanese. This is, this is a, just a minor fun fact, but you know Ib? 
Uh, Ib, for those who don't, is an RPG game that takes place in a like weird haunted ghost museum uh, or like ghost art gallery rather. Um, and there's a bunch of paintings uh, and a bunch of weird spooky stuff happens. Uh, so it's called Ib, I-B, that's the name of it. And like as a result, it has a very iconic name because what the hell else is called Ib, you know? Ib. Uh, and in Japanese, that's Ibu. But Ibu is also how you would write the name Eve because they don't have a like a V that comes up in normal use. So the V is turned into a B. And then the double E sound is written as an I. And then every almost everything in Japanese has to have like more syllables and end in a vowel, so it's Ibu. And that's how you say Eve. And like what a weird way to translate it. Like it's it's very much a Gatsu thing of like this character's name is Guts, but since the author's Japanese, we're gonna translate it as Gatsu, and that's and that's bullshit. Gatsu is bullshit. Rest in peace, Mayura, by the way. Um, but the thing with Ibu is that like if you named uh, anything Eve, it's kind of a generic name, especially a horror game, considering that we already have stuff like Parasite Eve. Um, but Ib, like, well, does it see anything like that? You know, it's cool. Anyway, whoa, this place is huge. It's a pretty huge pond. Artificially made, I bet. Oh no, that's a swamp. The house was built on the swamp. The swamp air is good for my old wrinkly skin bag. Oh my god, are we... Is this actually becoming RE7? I mean, I guess this probably came out before RE7. Uh, see a mansion over there too. Is that also your house, Mr. Suchita? Indeed, but it's not being used right now. I had this new one built around the late 80s. Literally RE7. It has the big house and the old house. It's getting chilly, so let's be getting inside. I'll show you to the guest rooms. You may use this room, Miss Wren. Do forgive the mustiness. Some people died in here. It ain't nothing. Ah, uh, it is absolutely no diggity. Well, maybe it's a very small quantity of diggity. I uh, what's the fucking name? Kind of like the retro style it's got going. Thanks again, Gramps. I'm sure you're hungry, aren't you? I'll cook you some dinner. Until then, please make yourself at home. This is one of those things where, like, this is such an American horror thing. Um, a, 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 little, a little like European as well. Of like, oh no, our car broke down because everyone owns a car. Uh, and so we're lost in the mountains and there's a creepy guy. Whereas like a lot of those things just don't happen in Japan, but like it's so Japanese. And like the reason I bring this up is because I'm very curious about what he's going to make. I'm kind of expecting he's going to call like make some curry and be like, here's some good old fashioned gumbo. Like they say in the Americas. It's just an animation thing, but the way that RPG makers like leave... Like, slowly like that is creepy. A large dresser. The luggage is in here. A desk. The desk lamp has an outlet on it. Trash can. A fireplace. <laughs> so, um, because of the way that coding... Uh, fabric textures and fabric models works in 3D, it is almost impossible to have a character under the covers. Um, and it was this, this huge thing of the seventh generation of video games where, like, you would see a character get into bed and they would not have covers. Like, characters in The Elder Scrolls sleep by laying on top of a perfectly made bed. Um... Like it is, it is, all, it is all over the place. Like either there are no sheets, or nobody like sleeps under the covers. You never ever see characters under the covers, you know. Uh, and there's this very good moment in Heavy Rain where you tuck your ugly French child into bed, and uh, <laughs> the the texture for the 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 sheet you're pulling over him is just like this 
ugly yellow like bounding mesh like it looks so so broken and it's like well that's why they don't do it but still you need better fabric tech but this is interesting so in chrono trigger i remember chuckling at it because um two best friends play my former favorite uh lp group channel did a lp of heavy rain and commented on the awful bed tuck-in tech and then commented on how Chrono can walk into bed and he'll be under the covers because of the way that it works. But it's interesting that they actually, because you just walk under it and then there's a, there's a little thing. So like the, the covers will just be on a layer in front of the character in question. But here they've actually animated it with a little extra so it looks like she's tucked in. That's, that's pretty nice actually. I like that. It's a good detail. Oh, that looks so cozy. Oh my god, we're here. We we are this is so the era of like a flower adorns the cabinet. Trashkin. Alright, I don't want to talk to him yet because I don't want to advance the plot. Right, so that's my room. Okay, that makes sense. Hey, it's old Gray Hairs. Hey, Rin. You better not be rude to Mr. Sushita. We're indebted to him for the day. But after that, we're going to kill him and take his teeth. And hey, what do you mean, rude, you mook? I don't mean... I mean, don't go calling him an old coot. And don't make demands on what's for dinner. Maybe that's not impudent. Yeah. Yeah! Man, he's got a couch. Do I have a couch? I do. I love this couch with this one chess table in front of it. Very obvious that they just um, like copy pasted this room over and possibly did it so on the other side as well. Yep. And four for four. Yep. But that's okay. This is a free game and I didn't pay for it. And you shouldn't either. Please go download this game and play it yourself. Have you seen the paint? Hey, have you seen the paintings in the hall? Oh yeah, I saw. I wonder what's up with them. Yeah, they're all paintings of ladies. What's the motif, you suppose? I'm going to sleep in your bed. Is that cool? It smells like you. I feel like I shouldn't get attached to these characters. Hey, listen, Rin. Isn't that swamp outside this house the hugest? I went to look outside earlier. It's pretty. Yeah. Oh, really? I was thinking it was kind of goopy and filthy. Not at all, man. Look, later. Okay? Look later, okay? I might ask if we can go swimming tomorrow. <laughs> well, don't you come near me after that. You're going to reek. Right. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised that this takes place in Japan and is very Japanese. But, like... Because everyone has a Japanese name, but it is so American in its setup, you know? A DVD player, wow. I wonder what that means. Like, at the time, it might have been meant to show that he was, like, with it and not behind the times when this came out in, like, I don't know, 2004 or whenever this came out. But now, that means he's still dated, you know? A woman underwater. What's the motif? Really, dude? A small sink. Oh, did I take my shoes off? No, those shoes are just there in the bathroom. That's the corpse hole, I imagine. A woman under some plants. A nicer bathroom. Oh, it's... Yeah, it's like a half bath, I guess. I guess don't poop in the room that you take a bath in. Let's take a, what is this one again? A woman drowning. What could possibly be the motif, I wonder? Probably shouldn't go upstairs without asking. Jesus, that's fucking creepy. Well, that's one big swamp. Can't even see the other side through this fog. This fucking accent is losing its... Hmm? 
A stone monument? A man did abduct upon the seashore. I can't read this. Why can't you read it? Is it because it's in Japanese? Or is it like one of those old like Japanese dialects that people don't use anymore? Like uh, kanji versus katakana, I think. Or romanji. I don't fucking know Japanese enough. Um, I can't read this. Maybe Satoru would know about this old stuff. He's got more knowledge than he knows what to do with. Curious about the monument. Oh, the old man. You really got to not do that. I feel like calling someone old man is something that is a little Japanese. My apologies. So have you read the inscription there? I couldn't make heads or tails of it. What's it say? It's a legend that's told around here. The legend of the so-called Mermaid Swamp. Legend? Of Mermaid Swamp? Metal Gear? Are there any Metal Gear characters with, a, like, an obnoxious Brooklyn and or Bostonian accent? It originated in the riddle of the Meiji area. My family has governed this area since around that time. Or, or rather, we simply owned the mountains. It is said that the son of the leader descended to the mountains down to the seaside and found a mermaid. Sounds kind of shady right out of the gate. It's his legend. The man was so smitten with the mermaid's beauty, he took her to his mountain home. He created a fish tank just for her and had her live within and filled it from water from this very swamp. And then she died because the pH was off and it wasn't salt water. Yeah, well, yeah, there you go. A mermaid of the sea cares not for swamp water. The mermaid grew weak and grew came quite ugly. Her skin's... I mean, I guess that is what happened. Like, when, when people say you look like a drowned rat or, like, a drowned corpse, the reason is that your body gets waterlogged and you fill with water and get really, really fucking gross. This, this, this is uh, not relevant, but there's this episode of The Walking Dead I was thinking about a couple of months ago where there's a zombie stuck in a well, and they want to get the zombie out so they can drink out of the well. Um, and the makeup job on the zombie is fantastic because he's this awful, ugly, ugly fucking drowned corpse. Um, I don't know why they want to drink out of the well, considering it's had a zombie stewing in it for a couple of months, and, like, that isn't healthy. Um, but anyway, when they try to get the zombie out, he's so waterlogged that he literally just splits in half and fills the well with goo. Meaning that the well that they shouldn't have drunk at, out of anyway, really they shouldn't have drunk out of. Anyway. Her clear skin swelled, her scales fell off, and her voice, as melodic as ringing bells, was reduced to a beastly howl. The mermaid soon took on her most repulsive form and subsequently died. The mermaid's wrath is no petty thing. Young women vanished from the nearby village. People called that the mermaid's curse. You know, the strangest part of the curse, all of those women showed up in my basement. As such, this monument was put up to mourn her. What do you think? Hard to call it romantic, but interesting nonetheless, yes? So, did this mermaid, like, consent to this and she just didn't know? Or, like, did this man just capture a mermaid? Yeah, sir, I don't know about all that. Satoru likes stories and stuff, so we might get it more. Oh, is that right? Uh, yes, I prepared dinner now. Come to the dining room, if you would. Ooh, finally. Okay, let's get a move on. <laughs> Very simple character. <laughs> I'm just going to stand next to you while you eat and sniff your hair. I hope that's not creepy. Mmm, delish. This is some great stuff, old man. I'm... <laughs> Why are you so creepy, old man? I'm glad you like it. Take it slow and eat up. Like, hospitality, right? I know that it, like, 
betraying hospitality in this manner is like a Greek sin. One of the oldest fucking sins. But like, dude. Dude. The bath is free if anyone wants to use it. Please don't plug the little hole I have. That's where my camera lives. You must be tired from the day's events. Please rest yourself. See you. Yuka, aren't you going to eat? What's up? Yeah, I guess I'm too tired to have an appetite. Are you okay? We'll do the cleanup. You can get some rest. Thanks, Yuta. <laughs> okay, y'all clean up now. Why do we have to clean up after you? Do it yourself, yama yucky. <laughs> Please stop making fun of my name. Man, I'm stuffed. Can't be bothered to bathe. I'm ready to conk out. Yuka's asleep already? She didn't seem to be feeling well. Hope she's doing better tomorrow. Hey, Rin, you getting cell reception? Huh? Yeah, I am, but it's real crappy. I thought so. Well, we're in the mountains, so what can you do? Long cooking chopsticks. This is mostly because of the pixel art, but they look very jagged. I guess it's because of the weird, like, three-quarters perspective. Did I look at this? Yes, I did. Pretty large bathtub. I'm gonna fag, huh? Old mansion's that way. It's super dilapidated, but hella huge. There's this weird little shack, too. What's that about? Where we came from, huh? Don't remember the way we walked, though. Well, that's nothing but dangerous. You smoking out here? I mean, the living room's got an ashtray for you, you know? Dumbass. When someone gives you meals and beds, do you repay them by stinking up the house? You could repay them by not being a jackass and having a smoking habit, but... Hey, that's right. Satoro, can you read what's on that monument? I probably could, but don't tell me you can't. You're a history major. Come on. As if I can and know exactly what it means. Wow, you seriously can't read it? <laughs> Man did abduct, laid upon the seashore, a mermaid of clear skin and scales, whereupon she did live within his fish preserve. The muddy swamp water brought her horrible swelling to her fair skin, tore from her her scales, and devastated her melodic voice. The fool's, fool's hope were in vain, and he only brought death upon her. The depths of the mermaid wrath, we suffered the loss of many young girl. That's what we want for her, right? <laughs> Get inside already, you'll catch a cold. Same to you. Okay, night! Oh, Lord. Okay, cool. Ah, Miss Rin. Still not able to rest, are you? How would you like some tea? Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna sleep soon. House is super huge, you know. You live here by yourself? Ain't you lonely? Of course, it could be rather lonely. I had wives and daughters, but they've left now. I've been alone ever since. So I haven't you all here today has been so enjoyable. It may only last until tomorrow, but I hope you have a good stay. Gotcha. Thanks, old man. Okay, good night. Ah, oh, crap. I guess I could have talked to him earlier without advancing the story. Floating. Ah, well. Guess I've missed an achievement. <laughs> Cozy. I still do not know what the sub key is. Subtract? Like the minus key? Am I underwater again? 
Must be a dream. I'm not drowning. My eyes don't hurt. Can't move a muscle, though, and it's really cold. Somebody's there again. What the hell is it? Why are you staring at me? I'll kill you. Presumably, that's from within the tank. Is it morning? Man, that was a strange dream. Yo, Yuka, it's morning, you know. You ready to get up? Sorry, Ren, I've kind of got the chills. Is it okay if I rest a little longer? I got gotcha. you. You okay, though? Don't overdo it. I'm fine. It's really foggy out, so maybe I've got a cold. I've got horrible mermaid-itis. It's a disease categorized by being poisoned by a creepy old man. You guys are up early. What are you up to? It's actually as if it's actually early. It's already 10. I checked the car earlier. It's still totally busted. What? It didn't just heal itself overnight like a Dungeons & Dragons character having a long rest? Could be out of gas. It's so old, I wouldn't rule it out just falling apart. But whatever it is, how are we going to leave? Good morning, everyone. What's happening here? So that's the story, old man. I'm real sorry, but can we stay a little while longer? I want to see if we can't fix the car. I don't mind at all. As it happens, I have to go out for a few days to the nearby village on some business. I must be leaving around evening. Is that right? Well, we'll be out soon, then. We wouldn't want to stay too long. Even without a car, we could find our way of walking. We could just leave the car and take a train home if we need be. Anyway, just gotta go down to the mountain. No, it's quite alright for you to stay. I'm the only one who lives here, after all, and I would quite appreciate somebody looking after it. I need to go adopt another woman. Huh? Really? Indeed. Besides, you wouldn't get far walking in the mountains. Certainly not in this fog. <laughs> You're more than welcome to stay forever. Don't do anything dangerous like walking around the mountains or looking in my corpse holes. All right. Thanks, Gramps. I think I think the word that Gramps used to be must just be like this uh like this Japanese uh honorific or affectionate term for an older person. It's probably Oji-san, you know, or something like that. Uh, and like, they have no idea how to translate it because we don't have a word that just means hello, old person. So they just got to say gramps or old man. I was playing doom yesterday and I actually hurt my fingers. <laughs> uh, uh, carpal tunnel is a bitch. Anyway. Well then, I've got to be heading out. Keep a close eye on any flames. And again, the mountains are dangerous, so don't... We get it, okay? We'll hold down the fight. Don't you worry, old man. Don't go tripping dying on yourself, yeah? <laughs> I'll be careful. So long. Oh, hey, it's evening already. Better be the first to use the bath. I'd hate to go in after the guys. I'm going to use the bath next time. Rin Yamazaki. Cool. Um, all right, yeah. 43 minutes, is that right? Oh, yeah, I paused the recording to go text my wife. Um, all right, yeah, so I've been Alfred. This has been Mermaid Swamp Part 1. Presumably weird shit's going to happen next time, so uh, hang around. Uh, I'm doing this for Halloween, naturally, and uh, because my wife recommended it to me. So, um, other scary games going up this month? And uh, yeah, have a good day, everyone. Thank you.